All right, as part of this unit on development, I want to take a look at parenting. Uh, hopefully, this is something that is still years off uh, for my listening audience. Uh, but uh, you may be interested in knowing that there are different categories of children uh, and different categories of parent uh, in the realm of psychology. So let's take a look uh, first at the types of babies. Let's pause for just a second, though, and think, how cute are those babies right there, right? Uh, I happen to think all babies look, at least in some way, like Winston Churchill, uh, and I think they're cute, so you don't forget to feed them. Um, but uh, there are different kinds of babies that are out there. Uh, I love this picture. This little dude just, um, he really does look like Winston Churchill. I mean, if you've ever seen anything from like the height of the World War II speeches, that that's him. Uh, but the temperament of the child um, is um, considered to be the way they behave or respond to correction and things like that. Uh, and so there are three types uh, of children in this theory. The first is the easy child. Uh, the easy child has a rather positive mood, right? So they're just kind of a happy uh, child in general. Uh, they adapt very quickly to the idea of regular routines, uh, and that happens really easily. Uh, if you are the parent of such a child, count yourself lucky, and your, uh, your peers uh, who are not will not like you very much. So don't tell them if you've got a kid that, uh, that does this. But uh, these are the type of parents that come in and say, oh, my baby slept uh, all through the night since uh, the first night we brought him home from the hospital. Right? No other parents really want to hear that, but good for you uh, if you have uh, an easy child. The second type is called the difficult child. Uh, these childs are, are a little more uh, have a little more of a negative mood, just kind of you know their regular uh, regular mood is a little more negative. Uh, they'll cry uh, a lot more, and they are very slow to adapt uh, to any kind of. Uh, changing conditions. So if you were to take the child uh, out of the normal environment, say you're going on a trip or something like that, uh, it can be something where that adaptation happens really slowly. Uh, the slow to warm up child uh, is kind of somewhere in the middle. Uh, these kids are pretty low activity, um, but in the activities that are set, they're, they're pretty much set in the routines that they've got. Uh, but even at the same time, if they are getting fussy, uh, things like that, the intensity of um, their crying or tantrum throwing, things like that, uh, isn't as much as you would see with uh, the difficult child. Uh, and so um, those are three categories. I don't know that you would ever have a child that fits perfectly into uh, one category of another, but you're probably going to find uh, children that are leaning more uh, one way or the other. Uh, so as a parent, right, what kind of parents are out there uh, to uh, parent these children, right? And the type of parent you are can have a lot to do with uh, the way your child develops. Authoritarian parenting, uh, this is looked at as being a pretty restrictive style of parenting. Uh, the parent is going to uh, basically make up the rules uh, and um, enforces them um, really without any kind of discussion, uh, things like that. Um, they want to instill in their children the value of hard work uh, and effort. Uh, and putting those things in uh, is you know, considered to be a positive. Kids raised in an authoritarian parenting style can have poor social skills, um, partly because there's not that maybe give and take uh, that there is in some other styles of parenting. Uh, and they'll constantly compare themselves to others. Again, if you are uh, being judged or rewarded based on effort uh, and, and that type of level, then things become very much a competition. And so that's where authoritarian parenting will get you. Uh, authoritative parenting uh, is different. Uh, now, authoritarian, uh, right, is, is kind of I'm putting my will on you. Uh, authoritative uh, is usually considered to be a little more positive. Uh, these parents encourage independence, uh, but at the same time they give their kids guardrails. 
And so you, you're going to make certain decisions. You've got some, some abilities to do certain things, but there are limits that you can get to uh, that uh, will be enforced. Um, usually when something happens with the kids, these parents will discuss it uh, with uh, the children. If there's a punishment or, or reward, something like that that's coming, uh, there'll be some discussion that's there. Uh, usually these parents are looked at as being warm and nurturing. Uh, kids here uh, are usually adapt a little better socially uh, than their peers that have been raised by authoritarian parents uh, and are a little more self-reliant, uh, a lot of people say because of the parenting style that, uh, that has been employed. Third type of parent is a neglectful parent. Um, these parents are not very involved uh, in the, the lives of their children, um, and the kids grow up feeling like they're not a priority uh, to their parents. Uh, this can lead to acting out, which can look like poor self-control, uh, and uh, it can lead to poor uh, social competence. Uh, and so basically understanding the way you're supposed to act in society, the way you interact with other people. Uh, a lot of times these, these guys will act out for attention uh, in, in certain ways uh, or try and get attention uh, from other people, or even if they have to use negative behavior, get that attention. Uh, and so that can lead to some behavioral issues uh, there. That poor guy just needs to put down his phone and pay attention to his kid, right? Unless he's trying to fix his kid's phone. Uh, and But it doesn't, maybe he stole the game, right? He looks like he's playing a game on his phone sideways there. Maybe he just stole the thing from his kid and he's trying to beat the latest level of the game. Maybe this guy's not a neglectful parent. Maybe it's you know, picked a bad picture, but uh, that's what Google popped up anyway. Uh, the last type of parenting is what's called permissive parenting. Uh, these are kids that don't have a whole lot of limits on their behavior. And one of the things you see is that these folks get have some of the same outcomes as neglectful parenting. So uh, even if you are not a neglectful parent, you pay attention to your kid, but if you don't provide those kind of guardrails and, and behavioral nudges that all children need, uh, again, they end up just with, without a really great idea about how they're supposed to act inside of society and how to control themselves. And so both of those uh, last two styles of parenting can lead to similar outcomes. Uh, but basically what you need to know uh, are just the three types of children uh, and then the four types of parenting and be able to distinguish uh, back and forth between those things.